Hi, Ed Diaz here. In today's video, we're going to learn how to create an advanced layer split inside the Roland Phantom O. All right, let's get started. So what do I mean by an advanced layer split? Uh, that means I have a lot of stuff going on, on in the keys, okay? So I might have a layer. A layer can be a, uh, two or more tones layered on top of each other. I can have a split, so I can have a split in the keyboard, usually in the lower, but as you'll see in this one, we'll have another split in various upper section and also another layer. So a lot of fun stuff happening. All right, so let's get started with this. I'm going ahead and let's start from an initialized scene, or it doesn't matter. Uh, you've been seeing me do this on the Phantom O. I'll hit single tone. I get an initialized scene I can work on very quickly, and I'm going to go to zone view. And in this example, we're going to start off with four, and we're going to choose some sounds very quickly, and then we're going to get right to it. If I'm going too fast on this advanced layer split, you might want to go back and review uh, the videos on a basic layer. Uh, basic split and the layer split that but uh, this one we're gonna go a little bit faster but we're gonna slow down when we get to the advanced section all right so uh, once again tone select and I'm gonna go ahead and hit zone view so I can see four so I'm gonna choose an electric piano first for my layers I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna choose uh, a voice choir and I'm, I'm gonna use my zone select and then I'm gonna choose a string and then I'm going to choose a bass right here. And then I'm going to pop into the bass and I'm going to choose. Oh, let's just go ahead and choose a compression, a compressed fingered bass. All right, great. All right, now we're going to layer everybody together. Okay, so I'm going to take off zone select and I'm going to say one, two, three, four. Now they're all layered together. Now I'm going to do a split. A nice split because I don't need the bass playing throughout and I don't want those upper three playing over here so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna say I want the lower range I want all the upper range of those three zones uh, but I want the lower range of the bass. so let's do this very easily press and hold shift and we can go ahead and did you see it did you see it move we can adjust where that split point is. We could have done it by using the wheel, but this way is a lot quicker and very accurate, very fast. So I'll do the same with these other two. And there we go. Now with the bass, I want the bass to play in the lower end of the keyboard, but not in that upper end. So I'm going to go, instead of adjusting the lower, I'm going to adjust the upper. So I'll go ahead and shift, and instead of hitting F, I'm going to hit E. So now, check out what I have. I have a real nice... Cool. That's good. So this is a good starting point for us. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and press right. I'm going to write this scene, and I'm going to rename it, and we're going to call this Clear It. I'm going to call it an advanced uh, layer split, just so we kind of uh, have that in there. So advanced, so we'll just A, A, D, V, space, and then we'll just go uh, layer, space, and split. Oh, oh uh, no problem, layer. Let's move that guy over. There we go. And then a split. All right. Okay, great. And okay. Now I have to determine where I want to save it inside my Phantom O. I could press the enter button. And I, since I already have some that are uh, named, I have my basic layer, my basic split, my layer split. I'm going to put it here, uh, the advanced layer split. All right. Okay, so you're looking right now, you're like, Ed, this is the same as the layer split. Not quite watch now we're going to get into the advanced portion of it so right now i have four tones in four zones let's press this zone one more time and we're going to add maybe some leads up here what okay let's have some fun we're going to add some leads and we're going to move these guys down so i'm going to go to zone select because when i have this and i'm choosing individual zones it even though they're layered well, they're layered. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take off the layer. I'm going to take off this layer for the time being, and I'm just going to focus on uh, this one, five and six. We're going to make a lead layer 
over in this section. All right, so cool. So uh, let's go ahead and go to my synth section, pop it open, and uh, do I have anything saved? Yeah, I have a couple saved. This will work. All right, so let's go ahead and say I take this first one. We're going to use that one, and that's going to be one sound that we're going to layer. Uh, let's go ahead and choose another one. Um, once again, I'm going to go into my synth section, pop it open, and you know I have a, I have a ton of uh, things to go through. I've chosen a couple for this example. Uh, let's go ahead and choose. Let's find another. One. Actually, that one might be good. Let's try this one, the uh, loud synth lead, all right? Okay, so we have this one and this one. Let's go ahead and layer them together and see how they sound together. So I'll take this off and I'm gonna put them together. See, they just layered. I might go ahead and adjust Bring this next guy up for support. And then I might go a little bit further and we kind of have a little bit of fun uh, with this guy and maybe adjust uh, the tuning. So that way they kind of have a little bit of detuning going on. So I'm going to turn on zone select and I'll go shift and six and there we go. I already in pitch, and that's where I uh, normally I would start off here, but I'm going to go to pitch, and I'm going to have the scene hold the pitch, and I'm going to adjust a little bit of the fine tuning, just a little bit, just a little bit. All right, sounds good. Let's exit, and I'm going to save this right now. I'm overwrite. And I know you're saying, Ed, you're overriding the split that you had. It's okay. Just We need to save often when we do uh, advanced layer splits. All right. So just, just so you don't mess it up because you could, you could get distracted or hit the wrong button. And you just blow out everything. This way I have all the sounds saved. All right. So now let's start discussing the splits. What's everything going? If we look at zones one, two, and three, we see the range of the F3 over here. We see that. It's already there. I just got to turn it on. And we see the range of the bass on number four, uh, E3. It's already on. I just got to uh, adjust it. And these five and six, those two leads are full tilt. Okay. So I tell you what, let's, let's determine if I was holding chords. Uh, let's turn on these guys. And I'll turn off these two. Oh, let's go ahead and put the zone view over there. Okay. Okay, these guys, right here. Where where would my chords stop? Okay, uh, I'm on a 76, so I have a little bit more room. So, so I could probably get away with chords, maybe right, maybe here. So I'll do an octave, almost two octaves of chords. Okay. So that means I might come into here this time and I'm going to go over to the range of zone one and I'm going to say, I want this to be the end point of that. So shift, there we go, cursor down, shift, cursor down, shift. So now when I play it, you can actually see it on the screen, nothing's on here, nothing's on here. The bass, I'm not touching because it's 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 fine where it is. Okay, uh, so now let's bring in those <laughs> these other guys, the leads, and okay, so they're cutting in all into this area where they shouldn't be. So now we need to go into those leads, and let's let's adjust them. So we're gonna put their split point here at the F. So shift. <laughs> <laughs> F5, it's just like a, a bad kid. Okay, F, all right, F5. So now we have lead here. We have my three layer here. And we have this here. Now, if I'm holding chords, 
that octave that it's playing in might be too too high for me. It, it's it's totally up to you. But if that's the case, remember you can press zone select, shift, and let's touch that zone five. And I'm in the pitch. Keep note, I'm in the pitch. I'm going to go to octave shift. I'm going to drop him down an octave, and I'm going to drop him down an octave. So now... Keep in mind where the shifts are, where the, uh, the splits are. Okay, you got to keep that in mind. Now, so now I have this kind of already set, so I can have this guy. I can hold, I can hold the sustain, but if I hold sustain here, it's going to hold him. Uh, maybe I want to use some, I want to use some pitch bend for my lead and some mod, but it's also reacting over here. I can't have that. So how do I adjust that? Well, since I'm in the zone edit, I can come into here. Uh, let's go ahead and kind of have some fun. Oops. Uh, let's see here. Uh, go, here's, let's start at the top. Okay, since I'm in the zone edit, I want to go in here and adjust what of these MIDI parameters react to those zones. Okay, and I'm going slow just so you can kind of see, uh, and we can adjust. So right here, we see the pedal control, and we see the bend control. So pedal control, I can have the pedals, uh, different aspects of pedal controls for the keys. But in this example, I want to do bend control. So let's say here, I can go ahead and start moving around. Uh, pitch bend, do we want it on, on zone one, two, and three? The answer is no, I don't want pitch bend on. Uh, that also being said, do I want modulation on for zone one, two, and three? Uh, no, I don't. So I'll turn it off. Uh, let's see. What about in the bass? Remember, my bass is in number four. Do I want modulation and pitch bend on? Uh, I don't. All right, great. Uh, notice I could do that with the wheel. Now, do I want the bend on for that five and six, my two little bad boys, my leads? Yes. All right. Let's cursor back up to pedal control. Do I want hold on for one, two, three, and four. So you see the chorus, yes, yes, I want that on, yes. Do I want it on for these guys? No, I do not. All right, so everything should be right. So let's take a look now. Exited one time. So now I should be able to hold. And it's not holding the lead. Modulation isn't working for here. Let's do pitch bend. Let's go ahead. All right, so it seems to be working fine. So now we have we have a nice uh, a nice. So if you wanted to show out a little bit, kind of hold some chords. Remember that split. That's on me. If everything seems right, now we just need to go in and do a final right of that scene. So that scene right there, let's go ahead and press enter, go inside, yes, okay, and scene right, okay. So now look what we have, you know, I, and, and I don't have to go into it, but just so you can see, now look what we have. We have, uh, uh, what do we have? So six different sounds. So we have a bass down here on number four in this section. We have a nice layer of three sounds, the EP, the choir, and the strings. And then up here, well, we can always change this. If it, if it determines that these ranges aren't correct for you, you can, always, you can always go in there and make adjustments. And I have some leads right there. Final test of the pitch bend mod doesn't work. Sustain doesn't work over here. And then you could just adjust, you know. Yeah, just make it just kind of play it a little bit. Don't do that one. 
and and you're set to go. So that's a look at how to do an advanced layer split. So we remember we started off with a basic layer, then a basic split, then an advanced, then then a layer split. So layers and a split. So now this is one version of an advanced layer split. There's a lot of more. There's a lot more we can definitely get into. But have fun with this one. Split that keyboard out with a layer here. Layer some leads. Really come up with some imaginative. imaginative uh, uh, zone layers, and it's going to be people are going to freak out uh, when you play live. They're going to, wow, that sounds amazing, and they don't know that it's more than one sound. So, a lot of different fun things going, and then don't be afraid to go inside here, shift, and look at some of these things. So, pedal control, bend control, and then of course, we went over here into the pitch, made, did some octave shifting. If you guys remember, and uh, and then also we could have adjusted the different keyboard ranges through here as well. All right, so take a look at this video. I really hope it helps you out. You guys take care, and we'll talk to you later.